After defeating John Trice and the Cavaliers in a grueling seven-game series, LeBron and the Knicks are knotted up at 3-3 with his old team, the Miami Heat, in the Eastern Conference Finals. With LeBron and D. Wade going toe-to-toe at a level never before seen, the stage is set for a historic Game 7. People are saying it's a great series, but it's only great for the winner. We expect to win, regardless of what everybody else might say. But we know it won't be easy. small forward. And for the Knicks, a little more size inside. You'd expect them to be able to pound the paint against the Heat. Felton kicks to LeBron at the lead pass, and that one's good. Nene's got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for the Knicks. Yeah, that's the kind of lead pass we've seen him make over and over again. Gallinari passes tonight. Wade outside. Shot clock at six. Oh, and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. It goes on Kenneth Fareed. You know, guys, that's what he does. He just loves to play that kind of attacking basketball. Sebastian Telford was checked in for Raymond Felton. And going back to the Heat's front court, still playing Clark with a relatively light front line. Yeah, but Gallinari gives him... Size at 6'10, Kevin. But with Haslam and Bosch up front, they're giving up some LBs and inches most nights. That's tough. Feeds it to LeBron. Outside for Nene. He dishes it to Smith. New York moving the ball around. LeBron drives in. Out to Smith. He feeds it to Telfin. He passes to Nene. Eyes again, and counting two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. Terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the hit. That's how you do it, the bump and the bucket. And it really is size and passing ability, an unusual combination. You can really find an open teammate. You know, that's something that can get overlooked for your bigger, taller players, but passing the ball well and having 
and size to go with it, that can make a huge difference. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Now, here is Knight, defended by Telford. Pass to going up. Wade, Fareed on him. Wade can't hit. And, you know, we've seen LeBron, as his career has gone on, look to use his size and play with his back to the basket a bit more. The Heat with 6'10", Gallinari, a small forward, better equipped than most to give him trouble. The jumper from the free throw line is good. Wade's got five minutes. His presence is very comforting for this team. He's kind of a fallback option for them anytime they need it. And it's blocked by Fareed. And that one's good. The Knicks have gone two or three here to start off the game. And there's a call on Buck. That's his first foul. And Gallinari with his length. Another of what we've called the small forwards in name only. He is truly a stretch for it and, and so effective. Yeah, he's got great skill with powerful size. I mean, you're never going to replace LeBron, but the Heat did pretty well to bring Gallo in to fill that spot. And it's Kenneth Fareed with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Second team foul. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. Bosch dishes to Wade. Back to Bosch. Pass to Gallinari. It's rebounded by Telford. Well, what appeared to be an easy two points just never materialized. Shot's good. And the offense, I mean, three or four, a solid start for this game. The Heat have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Now, here is Knight, defended by Telfi. And Aslam kicks to Gallinari. Pass to Wade. Lock at six. Straight down. Right back to the basics there, using the one-hand slam for that. Doesn't he make the basics a pretty exception? Yeah, he does. They look sweet when he does it. Well, I mean, he should stay with those basics in a tight ball game because uh, we've got one here tonight. Here is Telford. The Heat getting the bucket. Fareed is guarded by Haslam. Fareed the pass to Telford. Back to LeBron. New York needs to get off a shot. Smith. Target from outside. And for the Heat, the shooting around Wade really spreads the floor and enables him to attack. That first facing is just huge for him. Opens things up with Knight, Gallinari, and Bosch. You have three other three-point shooters out there. Then Haslam, who can make the 18-footer. It's really a dangerous team offensively. Here is Telford. Brandon Knight picking up that last basket. Wade against Smith. LeBron outside. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. LeBron's got his second basket of the night. Now Knight. We've got 155 left to play in the first quarter. The feet to Gallinari, and it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. Here's a peek at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the top rebounders in this year's playoffs. Fourth, LeBron James. Boy, he has been fantastic in the playoffs. I mean, the stats prove that out. Defensively and second chance points, he's working harder than some of the other players. He's hungry for a champion. And he's playing like this. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. And a new group in for the Knicks. Arnani has checked in for Nene. World Peace comes in for Kenneth Fareed. Mon Shumpert's checked in for J.R. Smith. That's Felton in for Sebastian Telford. Shumpert dishes to LeBron. Salmon's covering. And there's the call on Salmon.
his first foul. Outside jump. Outside belt. Outside belt. Just find the shoot. Outside for World Peace. Takes the three. And LeBron gets it to go with the assist by World Peace. And it's seven points for LeBron. Well, it's been a phenomenal series, Kevin. Let's see how much the home court advantage plays into it tonight. The Knicks and the Heat both coming a long way here. Yeah, and this is as good as it gets, Steve. I am not kidding. Man, this is special. Boy, that's finishing the defense there. He made a good effort on that possession defensively and then closed it out with the rebound. And Shepard kicks to Barnett. He's looking for LeBron and finds it. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. And back to the Knicks and Heat, both Cinderella stories making it part to the Eastern Conference Final. Yeah, you almost feel some sadness in that tonight will be the end of the road for one of these two teams. And it's unfortunate, but that's just the way it goes. Here's Cole. The pass to Anderson. He kicks it to Wade. And Kim, the miss by the Heat. Anderson passes to Wade. Double team by Wade. Salmons back to Wade. Off his foot, and it's whistled to kick. Game clock separated by less than six seconds. Cole dishes to Wade. Six on the shot clock to end the drought. It's rebounded by New York. Playing back to back games following last night's loss. Well, with the number of turnovers they had in that game, guys, it was going to be an uphill battle all the way. Well, especially, Steve, when you couple the turnovers with the soft defense they were playing. I mean, that's a bad combination. Turning it over and then not defending. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Knicks lead by one. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. Welcome back to the second quarter here in Miami as LeBron and the Knicks battle the Heat for a ticket to the NBA Finals. You know, when you think about it, LeBron James is touring his old team. The last round in Cleveland. Now Miami. Pretty ironic, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. And the Heat looking to avoid the fate the Cavs suffer here on their home court. We'll see if they can shut King James down. Here are the five New York has to start here in the second. World Peace is out there with Barnett. And it's LeBron James. Then there's Amon Shepard. Then it's Felton in a point. A chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Kevin, and speaking to Dwayne Wade coming into this game, I asked him what it's been like playing such a high level in this matchup with him and LeBron. He said, quote, my biggest competitors, both of us want to win this series, and it's driven us to another level. This is the healthiest I've been in a while, and it's a role I'm familiar with from my first seven years in the league. Guys, another terrific playoff series for Dwayne. All right, Doris, thank you. At times, I don't think he's gotten enough credit, but he's clearly one of the all-time great shooting guards. Boy, you see the way Wade has been playing. I mean, it makes you wonder why LeBron ever left Miami. This New 